Alaska Beret is in Northern California. It's uh, in a secluded valley where there's very little industry or even habitation around us. It's a very quiet place. Uh, we've erected these 42 telescopes that you see around me, each of which is about six meters in diameter. And this is a centimeter wave telescope, which is about the same frequency range as your microwave oven. And we choose this frequency range because it's a range where the atmosphere, our atmosphere, is very transparent. We normally think of air as being transparent because it's transparent to optical radiation, like from the sun. But at infrared frequencies, it's actually opaque. And if you could see in the infrared, you wouldn't be able to see the stars. You wouldn't be able to see the sky, even the clouds, because it would all be fog. You'd be surrounded by fog. But whenever you get to the radio frequency of range again, it becomes once again transparent. And not just our atmosphere, but also the entire galaxy. The galaxy is full of dust and a lot of other things that could obstruct signals in their passage from long distances to us. So we observe in the centimeter wave range because that's where we get the most sensitivity. And uh, this array is special. It's sort of the first of its kind. It's an array of a large number of small dishes. You wouldn't think that a six meter dish like these two story giants is small, but by radio astronomy standards, they are quite small. The array that you see around you is only a small fraction of the array that we plan and we have designed for. Uh, we plan to build 350 dishes and uh, that will approximately give us 10 times more collecting area, 10 times more sensitivity to those signals that are coming from outer space. We're very excited about that possibility and we're working with collaborators right now on a road toward developing a much larger array.